go over the session. Karthik, your uh, profile. Yeah, Karthik is uh, into this field of management system consulting for the past 15 years. And he's a lead auditor for many standards, aerospace, automotive, medical devices, and uh, 9, 14, and 45,001. He's also a consultant and trainer for uh, NATCAP and uh, this railway standard and uh, telecommunication standard. He has consulted and trained and implemented more than 10 Irish projects, railway projects, and uh, focused on sector specific standards for aerospace, defense, railways, automotive, medical devices, and telecommunication. So he is also part of our GC General Body Council member. Over to you, Karthi. Yeah, thanks, sir. Uh, I'm audible. Yeah, uh, the yes. screen is visible now. Not yet. Okay, I'll share it. Okay, so good evening, all. Uh, welcome to this uh, role of consultants in implementing uh, IRIS standard. So I'll try to keep this a uh, bit more interactive session. So let's see. Uh, first of all, let's start with something. Who is actually a consultant? What they actually do in your management system implementation? When you walk through the standard, any management system standard, there is a no word called as consultant, right? But what exactly a consultant does in your management system? Yeah, thanks to your standard, there is an ISO standard, ISO uh, 20,700, which tells us the basics of uh, providing management system consultancy services. They have defined this. A management system consultant provide a consultancy services through various uh, multidisciplinary activity, we could say. Most of the intellectual work, know-how type. Within the field of uh, management, whatever the management we have chosen, either uh, quality management or environmental management or business management, the whole purpose of a consultant or the consultancy services is to create value or promote changes within your organization by providing advices, by providing solutions like training, processes, procedures. This is what the exact uh, definition made by ISO itself. Typically, a consultant help in an organization to realize a management system. When you say realization, how to realize a management system? Most of the organization depends on their own personnel within their own organization. They have enough competency to implement a management system. Some organization, they don't have enough time or enough team to implement a management system. So in that context, they can use some external consultant. So there the management system consultant comes into picture. But either you use your internal staff to realize a management system or a business system, or you hire an external consultant, the role of uh, top management, the involvement and commitment from the leadership and top management is the key factors for any management system realization. Typically, how to realize a management system? These are the steps involved in this. We could say like establishing, documenting, implementing, maintaining, and continually improve the management system. This is what uh, typically a management system realization process is. When it's come to railway quality management system, so how to realize this railway business management system? Typically, I will write to put in your implementation roadmap front. Typically, any management system consultant start with the uh, gap study we call them as. When we say gap study, what is your present practices and what exactly the ISO TS22163 calls for it? And what is the gap? Here, we need to define the boundary scope of your certification. The key process here is what are the processes we have? When we say identify the quality management system process, every organization have a lot of processes. Process required by the company, processes required by your customers, processes required by the regulators. Of course, IRIS needs a lot of mandatory processes, right? So identify what are the processes we need. Then form your core team.
train the team first of all what is this iso ts2216 what is this business management system requirement so they need to get trained then focus on your organization context what is our organization context who are all our interested parties what is their needs and expectation that needs to be determined then document your quality management system through a quality manual then plan your quality management planning or during planning the key focus area would be the risk based thinking even before establishing your quality system procedures your quality system processes we must apply this risk based thinking then focus on railway quality management system specific processes mr grish have explained clearly like knockout requirements risk management project management ram lcc there are a lot of iri specific requirement right that needs to be adopted then establish demonstrate this through documented informations in forms work instructions sops formats registers whatever the way we are going to demonstrate some organization use uh, some erp tools to demonstrate few processes it's up to the organization maturity level how we are going to deploy this then establish kpis there are some mandatory kpis in iris then your organization have own goals right so try to understand as a consultant what generally we do is we'll try to identify what exactly the mandatory requirement from the standard and what is the organizational requirement every organization having their own business plan they do have their own processes right that needs to be adopted then focus on customer specific requirement the railway customers come up with their own specification or own requirement so that needs to be adopted so then monitor it measure it evaluate it analyze it the entire processes so this can be done through uh, internal audits management review process reviews so again train the team make sure people are enough competent to perform internal audit do an internal audit do your review after this reach your certification body of course you have to register yourself in iris portal then select a certification body like dqs and they will come and do a stage 1 adequacy audit and stage 2 the certification audit after that only our journey towards our railway quality management system starts since there all uh, process maturity model is involved i will always say after certification only our journey starts so typically the consulting activity i would uh, split into this uh, important five phases we could say even this is also recommended by is 2700 it really gives you a guideline how to do a consultancy service understand the business context understand the organization context then plan your management system services execute your management system consultancy services then closer and follow ups okay what we do while understanding the business context this is called as pre project stage even before committing or even before to take this project try to get some information about the organization what is your scope of consulting work it's a turnkey project or we need only uh, involving in the training or we need to involve only in documentation or framing the processes how many man days uh, we are need to spend on this project what are the exact deliverables so this needs to be clearly discussed with the client then come to an agreement so once the consultancy work was assigned to us what we do is typically we'll uh, identify the context of the organization this will take uh, minimum two weeks time we could say here understand the purpose of the organization what is the strategy what is the business plan iris have very important requirement stakeholder analysis right so that needs to be addressed here based on that we are going to define the scope and boundary and what are the product category applicable to us what are the requirement applicable what are the requirement not applicable then what are the processes we have adopted in an organization identify the quality management system processes then for the core team train them iris has one unique requirement process ownership see most of the time what will happen when we practically going for consultation people thought uh, 
quality management system means uh, it's applicable to or some few people in the organization are responsible for it we have a quality team they will be handling the entire quality management system but that is not the intent of the standard so iris has very unique requirement process ownership so establish those process ownership so call the team train them we'll make sure the system is fired up then planning so here what generally as a consultant we do here we define the quality management system and in line with the requirements regulatory requirements customer requirement iris requirements so identify all applicable requirements then establish the quality management system here we are going to establish your policies objectives kpis risk based thinking and iris specific requirements a lot of additional requirement we could see na mandatory requirement there are some shall requirement there are some should requirement those needs to be adopted as part of our quality management system this will take approximately 3 to 4 months time depends on their organization existing maturity level and complexity of the product and processes once this is done then execution comes into picture so execution again we need to start implementing we have to practice what we have established even before going for implementation again we need to train the team process owner the member should know about what it is coach them that's what we do generally then roll out the documented information let them start the implementation then periodically we have to monitor measure analyze and improve the system it's a ongoing continual process right and this will take again 3 to 5 months time depends on the complexity and competent of the person then go for certification so hand over till the certification during stage one stage two is there any findings then the client coach the client then do follow up and support if there is any change happened in the organization after a certification or they want to expand the scope or they want to add another location they want to add another product category so that can be done this is what the typically a consultancy role in implementing a management system i would like to hear from the participant industry perspective on uh, iris qms i could uh, we can we could consider this as part of your q and a session also so during iris implementation if you have any specific questions doubts or what are the constraints you have faced i think many people have already certified from iris have attending this session few people are on the journey iris journey few people are planning to go for iris so you can just uh, put your questions to me and girish so that uh, Trick answer. I land it over to for Q and A now. Okay, participants can now uh, 